We begin in the United States. President Joe Biden continues to face pressure to abandon his presidential campaign after his poor debate performance against former President Donald Trump last month. On Wednesday, former House Speaker and President Biden's longtime ally, Nancy Pelosi, became the most senior member of the Democratic Party to subtly float the possibility of President Biden stepping aside. Now, while Pelosi did not explicitly tell President Biden to do so, she did say that the commander in chief must decide quickly whether to stay in the race. However, Pelosi later said her comments were subjected to misrepresentations. Meanwhile, Hollywood star George Clooney, who co-hosted a star-studded fundraiser for President Biden just last month, also withdrew his support. In an opinion piece, Clooney said President Biden is not the same man he was back in 2020 and urged him to step aside. The actor said, and I quote, I love Joe Biden as a senator, as a vice president, and as president. I consider him a friend, and I believe in him, believe in his character, believe in his morals. In the last four years, he's won many of the battles he's faced, but the one battle he cannot win is the fight against time. Now, Clooney is not the only one openly urging President Biden to drop out of the race. In fact, Senator Peter Welch from Vermont has also called on President Biden to withdraw in an op-ed becoming the first Democratic senator to explicitly call for President Biden to step aside. Now, reports also say that Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has also privately signaled he's open to a nominee other than President Biden. However, he has reiterated his support for the 81-year-old publicly. So far, seven House Democrats have called for the Commander-in-Chief to exit the race. However, it is worth noting that public defections remain a small segment of the 213 Democratic-aligned House members. Additionally, the Democratic leadership continues to support the president publicly. In fact, just earlier this week, President Biden dared Democratic critics to challenge him at the party convention in August. The president has also repeatedly said that he would run the presidential race till the end to defeat Donald Trump. Now, in his speech at the NATO summit, delivered a message of global leadership in hopes of easing growing concerns over his fitness for office. Now, all of this comes as new polling data shows the race for the White House is in fact tightening and rank and file voters continue to express their unwavering support for the incumbent. President Biden will be doing a primetime interview airing on national television next week on the opening night of the Republican National Convention signaling to Democratic elites and the donor class that he's not heeding their calls and remains the party's presumptive nominee. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. On the fifth day, the P20 World Cup run by the U.S. moved across to the West Indies. What can you expect? Hello, I'm Alice Green, coming to you from Durban, South Africa. Today we have a special start with the report on India's specific victory across the first time. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. 